Hi, Terry. How are you doing today? Fine. How are you? Good. As you might remember me, I'm Ryan. I'm going to be your nurse today. Yes, you're the best nurse ever. That's what I've heard. I've heard that. Yeah. How are you feeling today? I'm better. I've just been um, kind of short of breath when I walk, and um, I just feel like something's wrong. Yeah. So shortness of breath, like when does that occur? Just randomly, like in the morning. Are you seeing any other issues with your health? Um, not that I really can remember. Okay. I did see um, that you're kind of having some trouble sleeping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And how long has this been going on? Just like for two weeks. A couple weeks? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, I see that on your history that you're a, uh, you're a long-time smoker. Yep. What do you think about that? I mean, it's just part of my life right now, so yeah. I'm just trying to get over, or like, I've been doing good with getting over the depression, so. Right. You definitely have. How's that going? It's been going really good. You've helped me out a lot, so. Yeah. Are you taking your medications on time and all that stuff? Have you had any issues with that? No. Great. No, I'm not having any issues. <laughs> yes, Great. I'm taking them on time. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. So the smoking thing, it's a, it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm wondering if it's related to your shortness of breath. Have you thought of that? Is that came into your mind? I guess I haven't really thought about that. I've just always been a smoker, so I can't really, it's going to change my week. How long have you been a smoker? Um, for not too much my whole life, 10 years since I was 14, so. It's a long time. Yeah. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. Why what, Why did you start smoking? I was just depressed when I was a kid and everybody did it, so. So it was a way of, of you fitting in, am I hearing that right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I meant kind of coping. Great. So it's probably related to the shortness of breath. Um, you kind of you've been doing it for a while, um, and you think it was it started as fitting in, but that's probably not why you're doing it now. No, now it's just a habit. So it's a habit. Have you thought about quitting? No, I haven't really thought about it. So now that that we're talking about it, um, I mean, is this something that that you feel comfortable? Are we? Can we have this conversation about yeah. smoking and maybe about stopping to yeah, smoke? Yeah, I trust you. Okay. You helped me out a lot. Okay. Us, so. And just remember that anything that, that we say here is, is confidential. Um, it's not something that I'm allowed to talk about or, or this is just between me and mm -hmm. uh, that you feel comfortable proceeding at this point? Mm -hmm. Great. So tell me about your family history. Well, my dad died of cancer and um, I have a little niece that I really like. Yeah. How old is she? Um, she's really young. Five. Great. Cute. What's her name? Emily. Emily. Adorable. Mm -hmm. Do you see her a lot? Um, no. Her, my brother doesn't really like me to be around her. Why is that? Because I smoke. Yeah. And since our dad died of lung cancer, he obviously doesn't want the habits to continue on. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about that with your, your dad passing away and, and your smoking now for going on? I mean, years? I know, but it's just hard to just stop. Yeah. And it really is. Um, you know, my mother's a long-time smoker, and uh, if you think this is the first time I've had this conversation, <laughs> you're crazy. Yeah. But I know that it is a hard, it's, it's not easy to do. Um, have you ever tried quitting in the past? No. No? Why not? I just didn't really think to do it. I mean, I just, I just do it, so. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess it should be a motivator to hang out with my niece, but. Yeah. Well, and now we're, we're getting some health issues creeping in. Mm -hmm. Does that add to, does that make it front of mind now that maybe it's time to, to think about it? Yeah, I just don't really know how, so. You don't really know how. And there's a lot of people that, that say that um, it can feel very overwhelming at times. It's something that you've done for a long time, and, and now it, uh, it's hard to think about not doing it. Mm -hmm. You've spent more more than half your life smoking. You've been smoking longer than you haven't been smoking. Right. Right. So that's, uh, it's tough. And like I said, I've seen my mother kind of go through it and, and it's hard on her as well. Well, it's just like the first thing I do when I wake up and I do it at lunch. And so it's just part of my day. So what are other triggers? So when you wake up mm -hmm. and you do it on lunch, so maybe around mealtime it sounds like, do you also do it with dinner? Uh, yeah, probably before and after. So meals is a trigger, mm -hmm. but um, what other triggers, like what, what drives you to smoke? If I just have any extra amount of time, if I'm like hanging around the rest 
certain people and it's just so boredom yeah <laughs> boredom social mm -hmm. uh, meals mm -hmm. um stress is usually a common one. would you say the stress kind of affects your smoking habits yeah yeah which is all the time so Right, so you're very stressful. Is your do you stress at your job, family stress? What stresses you? Uh, probably mostly my job. Your job, mm -hmm. and what do you do? Um, I'm a contract worker. Great. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Um, yeah, I like it. It's just really stressful at times. Do a lot of people around that there smoke as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everybody. Right. So, right. It's so that easy makes to fun. just do like everybody. So you're always around it. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. So we have some triggers that we have to work. I mean, if we're going to take this serious of, of smoking, of quitting smoking, we're going to have to, it's good to identify these type of things. Mm -hmm. um, so on a scale of one to 10, zero being not at all, and 10 being I'm ready to quit today, how, how, uh, how ready are you to quit smoking right now? Well, before our conversation, I was probably at like a zero, but okay. I guess, Talking about my needs and talking about the triggers kind of makes me realize how often and how much I do it and the consequences of not being able to be with my niece and just do things that I shouldn't be able to do. So I should be able to walk without being sort of red at my age 24. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. But right, yeah. That's obviously pointing out some problems. Absolutely. So what would you say your number is now that we've, we've started talking here? Probably like a five. Five. So why? And five's good. I mean, we went from zero to five yeah. here in about five minutes, and that's mm -hmm. great. So why not um, like a six or a seven? Why not a higher number? What's holding you back? Um, nothing's really holding me back. I just don't, I mean, I just, I want to, but I don't know how, I guess, still. Like, right. I mean, I know my triggers, but still. <laughs> right. I already kind of knew those, you know. Right. So let's talk about some pros and cons. What are some pros of, of quitting smoking? Um, well, being able to hang out with my niece, not being able to have these health conditions at my age. I mean, those are my two more main, main motivators. Okay. And what's what are your cons for quitting the smoke? It's just a habit. It's just a habit. Yeah. But what's about why don't you want to quit smoking? Because it's just part of my life. But I mean, I, I realize that that has to change. So you probably enjoy it. Yeah. And so, and um, it's something we need to be careful of is when when you quit, people do tend to substitute smoking with something else, um, eating. Um, is another thing, so you can't just add another habit in to replace this habit, and that's something that, that we need to be... As long as I just don't get depressed again, then I'll quit. And you've done so great with that so far, um, and it's something that we will want to schedule a, a follow-up yes. meeting as we go here, um, just to make sure that we aren't backsliding on the depression, because now that we've got a hold of that, we don't want to lose lose track of that um, now. So, so can we meet on like Wednesday, maybe? Great, yeah. Okay. And then when, it's good to set a date. It's a solid it's date, set. it's a goal. When are we gonna start quitting smoking? Mm, I guess I can start as soon as I have some ideas of how to attack these triggers. Okay, and so today's Friday, so why, by next Friday, let's name that as our date. We'll okay. start a week from today. It gives us a week to kind of go through some of this. Yeah. Um, so there's gum. These are all ways that people have been successful. Um, it's, I think it's important to um, to get tobacco out of your home. Um, have you and you've never tried quitting smoking? So these are all kind of new to you. Is that right? Right. Right. Um, One of my friends had him once to quit, so maybe we can join up together. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's good to have a strength in numbers. Yeah. Um, and you're going to have to try to avoid people when they are smoking because temptation is going to kind of creep up on you. Mm -hmm. I like to exercise, so. And that that'll be a good thing to substitute that smoking. So in short, just to kind of recap what we've talked about here, you have a, a family history that uh, kind of affects your family dynamic and uh, with you smoking with your niece and your brother and um, your father passed away. Um, you have a lot of stressors. Uh, a lot of people at work um, smoke. Uh, meal time tends to be a trigger for your smoking as well. Um, and then we're gonna substitute our smoking with exercise. Um, we're gonna talk to you about um, nicotine gum and also we're gonna start exercising. Does that sound all right to you? Yeah, it sounds hard, but I'll do it. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you.